Hey, welcome back. I'm out here fabricating some new custom furniture. And you know, it doesn't matter what I'm working on, whether it's wood or metal, I'm always drilling holes. And I've had a lot of questions about the drill bits that I use. So I thought today it'd be the perfect opportunity to show you one of my favorites. It's a step bit. Welcome to Fabrication 101, Step Bits for Drilling. So everybody should be familiar with one of these. This is a traditional twist bit. And I use this when we're drilling through anything quarter inch or thicker and we need precision holes, especially for our uh, adjustable feet on all our furniture legs. But for everything else I do around here, that's quarter inch thick or less, which is just about everything we do, this drill bit right here, it's my go-to drill bit. It's called a step bit. They come in a variety of sizes. I'm using this one because it matches the bolts that we use. Yeah, I mean, anytime you're cutting metal, heat's your enemy. It'll ruin your bits or your blades. So you definitely want to use some kind of cutting fluid. And if you don't have any cutting fluid, you can actually use uh, liquid detergent works really well. But I just put this cutting fluid in here and keep it right by the drill while I'm working. And the other nice thing about these step bits is when you're cutting in this sheet metal, you can use them to self chamfer and clean up the hole on the back side. These step bits work on a whole lot more than just metal. Check this out. So I use this step bit to create a countersink for our log foot rests. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more, be sure to click subscribe, come follow me on Facebook, and come check out our pre-cut DIY welding kits over at MitchellDillman.com. See you again next week. Perfect. <laughs>